Wouldn't it be great if life had an undo button? Well, it doesn't, but GarageBand on the iPhone and the iPad does. So in this GarageBand quick jam, we're gonna be taking a look at how to use the undo and redo feature here in GarageBand. Let's go. Okay, let's talk about undo and redo. So here we are in our track. Now at the moment we have no undo button. It usually sits in the top right here next to the loop icon. So to get it there, let's just press the plus button and add a new track like this. We'll go back to our track view. And now you can see we have our undo button up there in the top right. Now all we need to do to undo that last action is to tap on the undo button and our new track goes away. It undoes that function. If we want to redo any function that we've just undone, all we do is tap and hold on the undo button and up pops this menu, we can either dismiss it, or if we try that again, tap and hold, and we do redo, it's going to do that, and it keeps a certain number of undos and redos in its memory while you're in the track. And the reason I say a certain number is that it seems to depend on what sort of actions you're doing. So adding and deleting tracks is quite simple. If you start doing merging and splitting and moving of items within an audio track, it can get a little bit confused, or not confused, but it runs out of memory really quickly. So you might only get sort of a handful of undo options. So you need to be very careful and use some version control and duplicating of your tracks, which we'll talk about in a moment. But let's have a look at what does and doesn't support undo. So as I mentioned, anything that adds or deletes a track, anything to do with splitting, merging, or moving parts of a track, or doing a recording on a track, is going to be undo and redoable. The things that are not undo and redoable, if those are words, is if we come in here to our uh, our plugins and our EQ and our settings in here. So if we came in here and we t did some things like turn off the compressor and then go to our track echo and change all of that, if we tap our undo now, it's only going to do the undos of the things that we did before. So it's only got our re redo create track and delete track. So it's not gonna undo any of these settings. So you need to be really careful when you're adjusting your effects and your uh, EQ and everything else that you don't have an undo. You can't go back to a previous state, which is why I recommend using uh, version control and duplication. So let's show you what I mean by that. So we'll tap here in the top left, we'll go back to my songs, and you can see here that this track, I'm actually up to version number five and I just created this version to do this so I'm going to select it and delete it because I just made those changes that I wanted to undo anyway so before you do anything major to your track what I recommend is if you tap on select tap your track and then down the bottom here the third from the right is the little plus the duplicate and that's going to create a duplicate of your track what I tend to do then is come in here and just give it another number incremental number five and then we can go in and make changes to this track and now we know if we make a colossal mistake or do something horrible with our EQ or our compression or something to do with the track settings then we know we can revert back to it because our undo doesn't support it. And the other thing you'll notice here is that undo doesn't actually keep or carry over when you close and reopen a track. So you've got to be really careful that if you go back to your main menu here, if you've finished what you've done, and then you've done a whole bunch of stuff, you come back in here, you have no undo. It saves it and it removes the undo from memory. So a couple of things to keep in mind. The undo function and the redo is very cool in GarageBand. It does help you out a lot, but it has limitations around the memory use and around some of those things that we've talked about there so make sure that you are duplicating your tracks and that you use your version control one more fun thing and i use fun in the loosest possible way if we add a track here again let's just recreate this and then we'll go back here there is one other way that we can undo and that is we can shake our iPhone and the undo menu pops up and we can do undo. I It's a bit of a throwback from the original days where GarageBand was a little bit more of a toy because if you were uh, creating a, a track and you've got it set up in your studio and then you start picking up and shaking your phone rather than, you know, tapping on a button, then uh, yeah, you, you've got some interesting uh, ideas of what's uh, fun. Anyway, that is the undo and redo function here in GarageBand. Did I miss anything? Have you got any other tips about undo and redo? Let me know in the comments. And there you have it. Who knew you could undo and redo so much stuff here in GarageBand? If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end. We've got a heap more GarageBand Quick Jams just linked down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.